All right, so in 1998, Hasbro released this Oola figure in a two-pack with this crappy-looking Salacious Crumb figure that you can see here. I no longer have the box, and Salacious Crumb is somewhere. I don't know. It just was not very good-looking. But this is a fabulous-looking figure. I like how her outfit covers her body, but then you, they do make it like it's sheer but with some of the green painted in this black portion. They went a little step further with some soft goods that look great. The design of her sandal. I love it. It's fabulous. It's a five points of articulation, which is okay with me. Unfortunately, they had to include this rope and collar. But it's a very nice paint app on her face. And her leku is uh, slightly flexible, not too much. You can't really do much with it. Oh, five points. Six points. It goes with his waist, too. Woohoo! Her head moves and arms and legs. It's a very well designed figure. And a figure that was missing. In the original Kenner line, Hasbro decided to fill the gap by releasing this figure in the 90s. But you know me, I really love my vintage figures. It would have been nice to have a vintage version or a version of Ula that was released during the Kenner era if only there was someone who could fill that gap for us. Who could it be? Well... Of course, it has to be Stan Solo Creations, who came out with this absolutely awesome looking vintage style Ula figure. This is gorgeous. The paint app for the bodysuit just is amazing. Look at that. Very well done, very precise. It's not sloppy in any way. Look at that. Very, very meticulous with the paint app. I love it. It has a great paint app for her face, which includes the white of the eyes that we've seen with Lando Calrissian. Got, she's got the collar, but fortunately not the leash. Uh, her headdress, very nice paint. And her leku looks really good. And she has five points of articulation. Looks really good. You know, the paint app for her sandals are very nice. And even so far as to have her toenails painted. Awesome figure. Uh, now, so now it's time to display Ula. All right, I just put Ula here in Jabba's palace and she dances. Watching. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.